Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome. You gone? Hi, everybody. No, welcome back to my no, channel. We went to Walmart grocery pickup, and then Jim ran inside for a couple of things that weren't available as of one o'clock in the morning, but he went to go check if they were available and now, were. and they were. So, yay. Do you want to help me? So, we, yeah, we actually did all of this social distancing, cleaning of stuff, trial and error. We realized that unpacking everything, washing everything, and then showing it to you is the best way. Now, we do have some refrigerator stuff, which we'll do first because it needs to go in the refrigerator because pretty much it's been out a really long time. So. Oh yeah, let's get that. Yeah. So I picked up one of the large Great Value brand Extra Creamy Cool uh, Ready Whip knockoff. Um, this Sunday's ice cream, it's the time. We have pie, whatever you want to have. I, I've been doing a lot of pudding, like jello pudding. Yeah. Let me get the, I would like one cool whip in the refrigerator. So let me do that real quick. Oh, sorry. You did, it's okay. I picked up two of the sugar-free Cool Whips. Uh, these I mix into desserts. I make that mousse, that great cheesecake stuff. I can't wait. But they were out of it last two times I went to go buy it. So I'm so glad it's back in stock. So then this way, score. Um, so one in the refrigerator. Yeah, and then I'll give you the cold cuts. Yeah, yeah. Um, I picked up another half pound of, uh, of Land O'Lakes American sliced cheese from the deli. I'm just being so nostalgic. I actually have tomatoes and I'm just going to make a cheese and tomato sandwich with mayonnaise on. Well, I don't have white bread, so. And this is a funny, another funny story, a pound of Prima Della ham, Black Forest ham, that Jim's favorite. I, you can take that down. Yeah, no. um, funny story is they didn't have that on the app. That's his favorite. They've been out of stock of it for the last month or so. Um, yeah. At least, right? At least. And we went to go buy some Sara Lee, and they were out of the Sara Lee, and they substituted that. So, win-win. Um, we have a couple of things for the freezer, just a few, actually. Mom wanted some more of her favorite ice cream cups. These are Briar's Individual Portion Natural Vanilla. She likes this one a lot with the vanilla beans. That's her favorite. And then Jim loved the spirits so much, we picked up another one. Sorry, my wrist. This is the um, bourbon and vanilla bean truffle. Yeah. And then this one I tried to get the last time for the ice cream social and they were sold out, but they gave it to me now is Irish cream and fudge brownie. <laughs> Mine! 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 <laughs> we picked up five of mom's Coke. Cola. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jerry Ann. That's my crazy husband, Jim. We live with his mom. Um, she drinks one liter Coca Cola directly from the bottle. She used to drink the 24 ounce in six packs. They stopped selling it. Um, now she drinks that. Um, this was one of the substitutions besides the ham. Um, I really just wanted to try the Cherry Vanilla Coke Zero because Cherry Vanilla is like a new thing. And it only came in a 20-ounce bottle, and they didn't have any. So they substituted a regular Coke Zero. And she's like, do you want that? And I'm like, I'll just take it. I'll drink it some night. I'll treat myself. We don't really go out to eat much anymore, so I'm really not having the soda like I used to. I think that's it for the fridge, right, babe? Um, I did believe so. I think everything else is either... Shell stable or liquid? Yep, yeah, okay. I also want to share with you since that gross bets put away, my Starbucks opened again. I'm so happy. Um, I have a funny story that maybe I'll share on a vlog one day, but it's pretty funny about my sisters. Somebody remind me. Mom wanted more of our Pringles singles. Say that 10 times fast. I did. I tried. It's like Pringles singles, Pringles singles, Pringles singles. Um, she just gets the plain Pringles. Um, she likes that again, portion control. Now, portion control for mom, I've mentioned before, is not about weight loss or diet or any of that stuff. It's literally just to keep them fresh. She only just eats a little bit at a time. So she likes it to not have to go stale. That's why she gets that. Um, sourdough bread. The only sourdough they had was from the bakery. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but I love it. It's cut thin like the store brand. Um, they substituted this one time and I was like, okay, we'll get that again. And it was the only one they had today. So I was like, if you don't mind. So that's one of the things he went for. He also picked up this was not on the list. <laughs> it 
these are the. Can't help it. I like that's the okay. Tuna on those. No, it's perfect. I'm gonna tell anybody. These are the Bunny Kaiser rolls. Um, they're different than Kaiser rolls in New York. Kaiser rolls in New York are like from the bakery. When you go to the deli, they're like from the bakery. Um, well, I should say on Long Island. I can't speak for all of New York. Um, but I bought Kaiser rolls to do pulled pork sandwiches in like a week ago. And he had, we had one left over that I didn't oh, freeze. And I saved it for Jim to have a pulled pork sandwich on. And he decided to have his deli style tuna on there instead. So he said, I need more deli style tuna. <laughs> so he picked up those. He got three of them. Um, and he was like, this was fantastic. All I did was crack this open, right? Put it on the Kaiser bun and you were set. So do you think you'll eat all six of those before they go bad? Or do you want to freeze them? What was that? Um, what was that? Mom's white bread moldy. Oh. Yeah, another one in the freezer. She does? Okay. Can you um, pull it down for her? Because we're supposed to have premature beef on toast today. I can toast frozen bread. It's okay. Just if you could take it out now, I'd appreciate it. That's with Kaiser rolls. Yeah, I'll probably eat them within a within week. Okay. He also picked up two of the lemon pepper um, tunas. These are from Bumblebee. He likes these to take to work because they come with a spoon. Um, and just to leave it in his pocket, it's shelf stable. So if he doesn't get a chance to eat it, it's not gonna go bad by the next day or by 11 o'clock at night or whatever. I was so excited that they had the La Banderita carb counter um, tortillas again. These are white tortillas. Um, they are, they have gluten and everything, so they're not gluten free or anything, but they each have four net carbs. And these are tortillas that I found that don't have to be heated. So I, I, I kind of use them like a wrap. I'll throw a, a bunch of turkey and some cheese on there with a handful of lettuce and then go to town. Thank you, love. I have one more bread if you want to. Oh, these are hunt dog rolls. Oh no, they're not. No, it should be. These aren't what we get. We usually get the bigger, it's okay, these are good. But we usually get the bigger ones from Great Value, like the... I didn't see those. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. In fact, they had um, Hecker's Farm, Pecker's Farm's um, sourdough there as well. Jim picked up these uh, Tailgaters Deli Rolls by Ballpark. Um, we usually get the ones that are a little bit longer for Philly cheesesteaks, but we're going to try these. And we just do steak -ums. We don't really do Philly cheesesteaks. We do put provolone cheese on them. I put onions on mine, and that's about it. <laughs> Sometimes you do onions, right? You just don't do peppers. Right. Yeah, okay, if that's what it was. We picked up one more real bacon, bacon pieces. We were out, just another staple supply that goes in the closet. Something like we were out of for a while, but you know, quarantine and all the things. Um, I'm so happy about this story. So mom told me on Sunday night, she ate her last can of chicken noodle soup by Campbell's, and she's particular. Um, so, of course, I went on Sunday night, and they were sold out. And I went on Monday morning, and they were sold out. And I said, you know what? My grocery pickup is Wednesday morning. I'll set a reminder for Tuesday night to check Tuesday night. And when I checked last night, they had them. So I picked up four for her. And what I had put in the shopping cart in case they didn't have it, and I thought it was a regular size can. I'm pretty sure I paid for a regular size can. <laughs> is this um, large great value chicken noodle soup? I just thought maybe it could be a substitute to the Campbell's if that need arise, arose, arisen, was arisen, oh, or whatever, no. comes up. <laughs> we picked up two, <laughs> two cans of the sliced potatoes. These are great value brand sliced potatoes. This is what Jimmy makes garlic potatoes out of. Um, I don't really get to eat them because of carbs, but they're delicious when I used to be able to eat them. When I used to be able to eat them. Oh, look. Yeah. We picked up the Sustain from Mom. This is her eye drops that she likes. It's allergy season, so, like, you need eye drops. Um, this is a very, very small bottle that was very, very expensive. <laughs> but this is Ultra. So, this one she uses. She also uses the individual ones that she keeps like in her purse and stuff we needed batteries so this is Doracell's double a batteries because gaming and remote controls no actually those are mostly mostly for your um well yes the remote controls but for the lights yeah my well the lights i change you do once a season like the remote control was more it's okay i mean i don't care yeah i was gonna say 
um, for gaming and remote controls, and then all of the battery operated timer lights, they all run on AA batteries. And the last thing that we got, and I could show it to you last now because um, it's still in the box and we didn't really wash the box, but then I'll go wash my hands when we're done, is one more 12 pack of Mountain Dew Live Wire. Um, this is Jimmy's treat when he's off of work. He needs to watch his uh, sugar intake and um, so he's trying to limit the amount of Mountain Dew that he drinks and what I, he's doing really well. He does, he's doing really well. He has two cans of Mountain Dew when he's on a day off from work and the days that he works, he has a 20 ounce bottle um, to get him through work. That supplemented with his tea and stuff. He's doing really, really well. I'm very proud of him. I'm very proud of you. What? I'm very proud of you. For? For controlling, oh, your mountain. controlling the Mountain Dew while yeah. I'm Come say goodbye to everybody before you go. Oh. That's the last thing, so we have to wash oh, up after okay. that, okay? Yeah, of course. So that's everything from Walmart Grocery Pickup. Oh, if you guys haven't tried Walmart Grocery Pickup yet, there's a link in the description box down below where if you use that link, you'll get $10 off your first purchase of $50 or more, and then we'll get a subsequent $10 off for our next purchase of $50 or more. I want to thank everybody who's been using the links. It really helps out my family. But if you have friends and family who already use Grocery Pickup and you'd like to give them the $10, there's no harm in that. I'm, I'm fine with that 100%. As long as you don't not use a coupon the first time you shop. That's all I'm saying. Now, the orders are uh, $30 is the minimum order when you're not using a coupon. So that makes it easy just to do like a little bit of weekly shopping if you're on a very, very strict budget. They also take EBT cards as well as credit cards for payments right now. They don't take any other form of payments for, for this very moment. So um, did I forget anything? Oh, Hi, if you haven't yet, click subscribe. Um, and when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye. Aw, he's so sweet. If you guys haven't tried Walmart Grocery Pickup yet, you, there's a link in the description box down below. If you use my link... Um, add the code. Well, the link goes straight to the code, but, um, <laughs> yeah, he did that. <laughs> it's okay. You'll get $10 off your first $50 purchase. It's not a beard. It's Velcro on my <laughs> face, you know. If you use the, <laughs> if you use our code, we'll get... <laughs> what? Oh, I thought you were going to say something again. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> if you use a code, we'll... <laughs> Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> okay. Ready? <laughs> Don't. I'm already distracted. Why are you distracted? No. You made me touch my face. If you guys... Hey. <laughs> if you haven't tried Walmart Grocery right, Pickup... Away, you can't concentrate. And my bag is starting to hurt doing that, but... Oh, if you... Hi. If you haven't tried... <laughs> See you. If we have, if you haven't yet, click subscribe. There's a bell right, as a button right there. See you making me mess up. If you haven't yet, click.